This song by Coward is perhaps the antithesis to and comes from his musical Sail Away. Uh, the normally amiable entertainment director of a cruise, Mimi Paragon, finally snaps after she's besieged by neurotic tourists and sings this song. At a time when perhaps if we could, we would all be tempted to sail away. This perhaps is a reality check and tells us perhaps why we shouldn't. <laughs> Travel, they say, improves the mind. An irritating platitude that, frankly, entre nous, is very far from true. Personally, I've yet to find that longitude or latitude could educate those scores of monumental bores who travel in groups and herds and troops of various breeds and sexes till the whole world reels to shouts and squeals and the clicking of rolly flexes. Why do the wrong people travel, travel, travel when the right people stay back home? What compulsion compels them and who the hell tells them to drag their cans to Zanzibar instead of staying quietly in Omaha, the Taj Mahal and the Grand Canal and the sunny French Riviera would be less oppressed if the Middle West would settle for somewhere rather nearer, please. Do not think that I criticize or cavil at a genuine urge to roam. But why, oh why, do the wrong people travel and the right people stay back home and mind their business when the right people stay back home with Cinerama when the right people stay back home. I'm merely asking why the right people stay back home. Just when you think romance is ripe, it rather sharply dawns on you that each sweet serenade is for the tourist trade. Any attractive native type who resolutely fawns on you will give us his address, American Express. There isn't a rock between Bangkok and the beaches of Hispianola that does not recoil from suntan oil and the gurgle of Coca-Cola. Why do the wrong People travel, travel, travel when the right people stay back home. What explains this mass mania to leave Pennsylvania and clack around like flocks of geese, demanding dry martinis on the Isles of Greece in the smallest street? Where the gourmets meet, they invariably fetch up. And it's hard to make than accept a steak that isn't served rare and smeared with ketchup. Millions of tourists are churning up the gravel as they gaze at St. Peter's Dome. But why, oh why, do the wrong people travel and the right People stay back home and eat hot donuts when the right people stay back home with all those benefits when the right people stay back home. I sometimes wonder why the right people stay back home. Obsessions inspire those processions of the families from Houston, Texas, with all those cameras around their necks. They will take a train or an aeroplane for an hour on the Costa Brava, and they'll see Pompeii on the only day that it's up to its ass in molten lava. It would take years to unravel, ravel, ravel every impulse that makes them want to roam. But why, oh why do the wrong people travel when the 
the right people stay back home. With all that Kleenex, when the right people stay back home. With all that lettuce, when the right people stay back home. With all those Kennedys, when the right people stay back home. Won't oh, someone tell me why the right, yes, I said the right people stay by.